Good morning, folks. We're starting with a quiet Earth. Earthquake condition index dropped into sea range last night as the factors waned and seismicity dropped off worldwide. Some moderate tremors in expected areas is all we took. Meanwhile, Uyen system candidate number six has a name. Following three days without tropical development, the X-class solar flare ramped the watch and it has come through. While the low to the north might appear to have the stronger drive, the moisture overlay demonstrates where a ton of the energy in that southern storm can be found. It should dissipate at sea, however. South of that, the rain lingers in New Zealand, but the convergence line drawn across central and southeastern Australia could be a dangerous one today. Maybe even a tornado will drop over the next 48 hours. In Europe, you should see the clouds moving around a central point still near North Germany. Multi-low system over the area has severe warnings popping up from Greece to the UK. And in Spain, the winds are so severe that multiple bouncy castles got tossed yesterday while full of children. Last night's US watch zone bore out multiple weather events, and it's not going to stop. The threat returns again tonight along the southeast convergence. Could see more severe weather as the difference between these clashing air masses is absolute. Just look at that moisture overlay. Moving to the planets. Note Earth and Mars lined up from this point of view and when I tilt, you'll see that Uranus is still in minor opposition position of Mars. Other interesting positions today include a heliocentric conjunction of Pluto and Venus lining up from the Sun's point of view, and at the same time we turn to see Saturn in heliocentric opposition of Mercury on exact opposite sides of the Sun. Last tilt we're going to do takes us into the future. All the geometries we've seen are taking place right now, but all eyes are looking forward to May as the 10th rolls around. We'll have Venus and Mars on the opposite sides of Earth in geocentric opposition with Ceres almost in line as well. But during that time, the prime alignment, Saturn, will geocentrically oppose the Sun. That's a big day. Solar flaring remained low overnight, but with a hope for an uptick this week. The Earth-facing disk is relatively clear, but the incoming sunspots have size. Still waiting to diagnose their complexity, but I'm actually quite bullish on that smaller group out front of them as well. Solar wind, looking very, very calm. However, our BZ has been negative for hours, and that's likely due to south-pointing magnetism in the solar wind stream. Our sensitive meters are showing either some rambunctious density waves or a sector boundary. Watch the blue coronal fields pull down to block the southern coronal hole. Did you see it? This decreases geo-effectiveness as both coronal and orange umbral fields move into block. The incoming coronal holes are not well noticed or of any significant power. Top thing to watch today is the plasma filament center disk and these incoming sunspots. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.